Okay, so I'm gonna do a video before we buff it. You can probably see some of the swirls in it. Um, like I said, the guy done a great job on paint. You can see our handprints where we've been working on it. Already got a few chips. The hood caught a little bit right there. So we had to shim out the uh, the new core support and radiator. It's got a rock chip there already. I touched that up and then I touched this one up. It's these roads in Idaho, they got that bad. So you can see that one. But we're gonna take it back to the painter. He's gonna fix that for us. We got it scheduled. We're gonna take it to the painter, uh, Gilbert uh, Golds in Napa. I'm gonna take it back to him Friday morning and he's gonna uh, fix those marks, fill them in with clear, do the best he can on blending it in. Luckily, there's no pearl or anything, so it should go pretty well. And then the buffer will get it next Tuesday and he's gonna buff it and then ceramic coat the car. So, so far, since I haven't done a video in a while, it does have the electric cutouts now. I'm not sure if that was in the last video. Uh, those Q-Tech 60s or whatever from Summit. Uh, the interior is still all, we still gotta get door handles there, or not door handles, armrests. Um, got the tack working, all the air and everything's working, working great. Running 185, no issues with it running, but it hadn't been super hot yet. Everything's uh, running good. Still probably get a different steering wheel. Uh, batteries in the back. What else we done? Oh, the rear end. So uh, it had 373s in it. Changed it to 355s. We're gonna do 373s again, but the the shop we it was just a mix up in what we ordered. So, but 355s work better anyways because before you know going 60, 65 uh, with the Muncy in it. Uh, and the 373s, you're running, you know, 22, 2300 RPMs. Now it's down uh, to 2000. So it's got Posi now, beefed up the axles, beefed up the drive line, drive train right there. Everything should be good with the drive shaft. Let's see if we can see the cutouts. Put a sway bar on the front. I'm not gonna be able to do a sway bar in the back right now. We ordered it, but the way the exhaust was ran, can't put a hole in the frame. They ran it down the frame, so we kind of made a mistake on that, doing it later than sooner. But hopefully the video shows the swirls. Yeah, we just had to put a spacer there, which was good. It bumped the fender out a little bit. We tightened it up up there a little bit, and then we won't have to worry about the hood hitting anymore. Yeah, we'll have him buff everywhere he can get to. But like I said, we drove it the other day, 100 miles round trip, everything was great. Ran the air the whole time, never shut it off. Never even got up to 190, did it? No, 185. So, yep, everything's going good. So I'll show a video of what it looks like after it's buffed and ceramic coated. And I'll make a video over the Camaro. You can see it's uh, jacked up because it done blew the rear end up. <laughs> All right, we got it back from the buffer. Let's see if you can see any swirls. I think you've done a great job. So it's buffed and ceramic coated now. Ceramic coated the wheels, the glass. Clean the seats. Got the rear end done now. said in the other videos but i had a blue and white 55 bel air that i sold and i didn't want to give the tag up in case we get another one <laughs> i said i think you've done a great job because you know black's probably about as tough as it comes
So yeah, a guy down the road in uh, Boise did it. He took it last week on Tuesday and kept it until Friday. And then when we got it out in the sun, he saw some that he didn't like. So then he wanted to, to fix them. So we took it back to him yesterday and then come and got it this morning. So he's worked on it five days. I appreciate that though. I mean, it's not cheap to have it done, but I think it's probably worth it. Well, his had to be buffed, though. The, the swirls in it were just too... Yeah, you see the plant right there? old Camaro I don't have it's got factory air and that don't hardly keep me cool this vintage air will blow you out should have done it to mine it's already got dust on it just from driving it home so dusty in Idaho yep so buffed and ceramic coated so we'll see how it does if we get stuck out in the rain